How you doing, everybody? <laughs> um, so I was sitting here thinking to myself, what would be my number one tip for somebody inexperienced at hand filing or somebody new at hand filing, I should say? Uh, we all do things differently. I'm sure every single one of you do it a little bit, little bit differently. But uh, I'm, I was thinking to myself, this would probably be my number one tip. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, and yes, I know, sometimes I talk like William Shatner. I know. Alrighty, enjoy. The number one thing I see people, one, the number one mistake I see folks making is they will apply too much pressure with filing. Do not push hard. Light strokes, let the file do its work. Just light strokes. And as you see, I put one hand on the back side of the chain and the other hand on the file. This helps keep the chain from rocking. That's why I do that. But light strokes. You don't have to change up your angles and all that stuff. Most people just stick with your factory angle and you'll be just fine. Nice, even, light strokes. So let's go to this one. I don't like to push hard because if you push hard, you'll either start digging out too much in the bottom or you'll start hitting the top edge too much. Uh, so a light stroke allows you to make corrections as you go easier. Just light, keep it going smooth. You don't need to get crazy with it. See how it works? My file's not grabbing and biting real hard. And I'm really hardly putting any pressure on this file at all. I'm just letting the file do the work. That's it. Nice, light, even strokes. That's all it takes. It allows you time to make corrections as you go. My goal is just to keep that factory edge maintained throughout the life of the tooth. That's it. Nice and light and even strokes and even and smooth don't worry about pushing it hard let your file do the work for you now if you're taking strokes light strokes and your file is not removing material your file needs replaced it's as simple as that the file will remove material with the slightest amount of pressure. You don't have to push it hard. If it's not doing that, then it needs replaced. Files don't last very long. Be prepared to replace them often. Lightly. Don't push. Do you see how much do you see my tooth moving? I'm using one hand behind the tooth and one hand to push the file. If this tooth starts rocking back and forth on you, it'll throw the angle off and it'll start binding up on you. Um, I have seen, or I have in times put like a two by four behind it, go right along the chain and use the C clamp to hold the chain in place. And just kind of use the file off to the side. Um, any method works. But uh, I've just gotten used to keeping one hand behind the tooth while the other hand files. And you can see, it just holds it nice and steady for me. Nice, smooth, even strokes. You don't always want to go deep gullet. I'll explain that in the future. But a deep gullet isn't always the solution. I'll give you one example. A chainsaw carver would not want his chain to be as aggressive as somebody who's logging. 
Now occasionally, you will lose a gullet. All you gotta do is bring the file out and down a little bit and take two strokes and it'll naturally remove gullet material, even with light strokes. Okay, see how the gullet's starting to disappear? All we gotta do now is straighten it out, to finish it off, then I'm back to where I need to be. That's all you gotta do. Do not go wrenching on it and pressing hard. Uh, you can probably tell from the phone it's vibrating a little bit, but you can probably tell that I'm not applying a lot of pressure. Just maintain your factory edge. That's your goal. Look, I'm going to fix this gullet here. Dig some of that out. Just a couple strokes, and then I'm going to bring it back in. I know you don't usually see me sharpen my saws by a file. It's because technology has advanced to the point that I don't need to hand file anymore. You know, it's not necessary, but it is a good skill to have because, you know, sometimes you need to do it when you're out there cutting. So this one here is way off. So I'm going to have to do a little fixing here. This came from the factory like this. This is the first time this chain's been sharpened. And here it is, this far off from the factory. And as you can see, we brought it right back to where it needs to be. See that? Anybody can sharpen a brand new chain. It's a lot easier, but maintaining that good edge throughout the life of the entire tooth is the tricky part. And you got to get a custom, dig it out a little bit of the gullet as you go. That's it. Just a little bit of gullet. couple of strokes to get it sharp. Smooth. No effort. I couldn't tell you how many times I said some, or I couldn't tell you how many times I heard somebody say that a new chain cuts faster than an old chain. Well, if you'd maintain your factory edge, throughout the life of the chain, do you still think that would be true? You know what I mean? So keep your light strokes and just make sure you keep that gullet. That gullet should maintain with the top edge right there. You should end up with a nice straight line going back to the tooth as that gullet is formed. If it starts creeping up, you need to dig more out. If it starts creeping down, you need to release some of it. Okay, and all you got to do to maintain it is to go angle it in and take a couple of strokes. That's it. Sometimes you got to take a couple more. Sometimes you don't need to do it at all. Uh, so just try to maintain the factory edge. That's your goal. Try to maintain your factory edge. All right, and. Uh, the best tip I could give anybody is to just don't push so hard on that file. Uh, nice, light, even strokes. The file's a lot easier to control when you're pressing lightly. A lot. So, think about that, alright? Till the next time, little saw sharpening tip of the day. Alright, thanks. Later.